Hey guys, um, today I halfway through cooking uh, mom and a friend's lunch and I decided to show you my what I'm cooking today. It's um, Thursday or Friday? I'm not really sure. <laughs> today I'm cooking a chicken, a chaco, chaco grilled chicken. And I already had one on the sugar gang and it's on the hot goes okay I'm gonna show you a simple simple way of making um, chocolate chicken on a sugar gang I got a, got a sugar gang out of my garden over there then why not using a, a sugar gang if it's gonna go to waste because it's winter and freezing in Australia it's cold so I decided to use the sugar cane to shove in the chicken and um, chuckle grill the chicken. No, chuckle chicken today. Okay, what I'm gonna do? Simple and easy. Just gonna get the skin of this. Mainly just the skin in the middle. where our chicken's going to sit. Don't worry about the rubbish, I'll pick it up later. <laughs> but it's a cooking show, we've got to keep going. Yeah, where the chicken's going to sit, you build the skin off. So you get the skin off the middle of the shoe there. And my boy was cooking and I decided, oh, Maybe my viewers want to see the, this idea. Using your sugar again if you want to go to waste. Use it to uh, make it as a stick for your chicken. And what do you do in the end? Make it square. So our chicken is easy to see on the thing. Hope you can see the chicken. But if you don't, I'll show you later. Yeah. Don't worry about the mess. Just make it rough on the edge. So, because my chicken is sitting on uh, two bricks, so it doesn't running around, come back alive. Okay. All I'm going to do with this is going into the stomach of the chicken. Chicken's already washed. It's nice fresh chicken. It's holding me up. Okay. Where's the hell? This chicken doesn't want to be cooked. <laughs> There you go guys, you got the chicken, on the sugar gang. What I'm going to do, look, I'm going to use this little stick thing. In that way I build the skin off in the middle so this little guys can go through on the chicken and stuck to the sugar cane so it doesn't move around. Okay, let's... Break it off. See, it's going through the sugar cane. Another one on the other side. Snip it off. Turn it over and do the same thing. Put two stick on the other side. You know, snapping it off. So as it hold our chicken into the sugar cane. So when we put it on there, I turn it over, it doesn't, doesn't run around. The chicken doesn't run around. Hey, it was being raining here for two days now. I was gonna cook out there, but it's um, starting to rain 
yesterday and it was a heavy rain last night so here you go there's our chicken no we do now it's what I got in here is a bit of olive oil and grind of a fr fresh singe and a bit of veggie salt just a sprinkle and you paint our chicken And when it goes on the, don't paint the other side yet, when it goes on the oh, charcoal, then you paint the other side. Okay, that's my idea, sugar cane. Chicken sitting in a sugar cane. It's gonna be a charcoal chicken, not this one. This one's nearly cooked. It's cooking beautifully. Okay, I'll show you a little bit of my fire. See, I booked two bricks. I got a cooking thing there, but I got two bricks, but it's not high enough, so I put two bricks on it. That's how it comes, and I'll be back in a minute. And there's our chicken. Yeah, okay, hang with me there, guys, and I'll be back in a minute. Hi guys, are you still there? <laughs> oh, welcome, welcome back. Um, I cut up some fish. Look, sea mullet, deep sea mullet fish. Give it a good wash, scale off. Of course, and I'm going to put this in uh, our, what do you call, with our chicken. And, yeah. Yeah, of course, and I've got a bit of tincture here. I'm just gonna grind it with the skin because it's just full of flavor in there. Just to give it a flavor on that fish, and it's gonna go on a um, uh, grill bit. Okay, a bit of pepper. Just a little bit. Some lemongrass, just cut it up. So you can try to run away from me. We're just going to give the flavor for our fish. And that's all we're doing it for. Just a flavor for our fish. See, just roughly, roughly lemongrass. Sorry, my cameraman's not here <laughs> today. But, hey. I can deal with this. Just roughly in there. A couple of cloves of garlic. Just a little cloves, just squash it. Hopefully it doesn't squash our table. Okay, just peel that off. Can you hear the, the fat dripping out on the chicken into the Thing. Rough. This is only going to give the flavor to our, our fish. Okay, I'm um, a little bit. I'm cooking outside under my cardboard because the rain is stopped now. I don't trust it because it looks like it's going to be more rain. Okay, yeah, a little bit of our favorite veggie salt. And I'll put a little bit of olive oil in it. Looks beautiful already. Then, my hands clean. It's only salt and garlic in. Then, yeah. You mix it in it. Be careful with your finger when you've got bones in that fish. Make sure that garlic and everything's running through it. Soak into the fish, tincture, everything. And this is going to go on our grill, under our chicken. 
Um, I'll give it a little bit of a couple of minutes to soak that, fish to soak that sauce in. And then we'll start from there. This is our fish, so I'll marinate it and ready to go. And a whole chicken still waiting here. That's um, mum and Bo's lunch. And once they, that's sent off, we can start on our chicken or our lunch. See back in and maybe have a drink later. <laughs> or maybe now. <laughs> it's, uh, I don't know what time it is. But yeah, I might have it later. <laughs> okay, guys, I'll be back in a minute and um, show you the our food. Hang in there with me. Hey guys, hope you're still there. And now I um, see I've got a little we're offering on a, the, the, our chicken. Our chicken now is cooked, it's slowly cooking. And now I'm going to put our fish, putting our fish in there now on the ground. It's got a bit of smoke zone. And our fish doesn't need to cook too long. Our food's all about the flavour. The charcoal is cook is um really hot. So I don't know cook our fish. Only turn over once, and that's it. Some of that lemon crossing color comes up. Gonna choose. Yeah, I'm trying to hurry here because in the wind is just the flow. Because one of my friends just called and said, um, it's very windy over there, you know where it is, but it's not far from here. So before the wind gets here. I wanted to um, hurry this up. Can you see me? <laughs> yeah, my phone's was shaking because of the wind. There, yeah, we got our chicken slowly cooked. And we got our fish already under there. So we're not far away. Just get a bit of lemon down and use it as a brush for your herbs and oil on your chicken. Maybe I should turn it over now and then. Yeah, just give it a brush with that. Tincture, see all the tincture and oil. Yeah. And this baby's nearly ready. Okay. I'll be back in a minute to show you the what's going on. Hang in there with me guys. I thank you again for watching. Um, yeah. Hi guys. <laughs> Welcome back. Um, got a little bit of olive oil in here. I'm just going to make a, a very light soup to go with the chicken. And the fish, those fish are going to be in our soup. It's a really grill on a, on a jackal and it's going to go in our little light soup. Okay, I've got a bit of olive oil in there. All I'm going to need to go in there, see the skins up. Um, a little bit, tiny, tiny bit of um, tincture. A tiny little bit. That's it, tiny little bit. <laughs> okay. Swirl it right around. Now we're only going to add here, we're going to add water. So we the water. I think it's getting dark in here. But the sun finally come out. Okay. I'm starting here just a simple clear soup. Okay. I'm going to add this a corn flour. So, one of this spoon. So we have a spoon in there. 
I don't want a thick soup. I just want a simple and nice sort of creamy soup to go with our fish. And let it bring it to the boil. And if you need to add more um, corn flour, but I'm sure that is going to be good once it comes to the boil. Okay, I'm going to keep going with this. Stone salt, yes. A bit of oil on our chicken. There's our chicken, it's cooked, but we're just slowly living on, living on here slowly. Um, just have to get the skin of the Oh well, that's alright. A little bit tiny, a little bit of pepper. Oh, don't breathe that pepper because the wind is blowing. And, of course, the flavour. Bit of that. Make you so. Bring this to the boil and then we get our fish in there. I don't know if I can fit all that fish in there. But, yeah. And keep stirring it because it's a corn flour. You've got to keep stirring it so it doesn't get fit on the bottom. Okay. We still got our other chicken I haven't gone in there. On the grill yet? That's for lunch for us, but this is for the old ladies. We just try to give them some different flavor every day. Okay, that's our fish. Except waiting for the boil. Now we're gonna add our fish on. See, our fish is. That's why we're not adding too much in there. Because we already got a flavor for the grill and uh, garlic, ginger, lemongrass. Yeah. Then we add our fishing. See? Fish is beautiful now. Some of them is too chuckle. But hey, that's a flavor. Drop some of the fish out in the back. Mm. I think there'll be enough in there. And save some of the chocolate chicken. Too. They can eat it like that. Yeah, chocolate fish. So they can taste it in the soup, and they can taste it in there before it goes in the soup. So I leave a couple of pieces of fish in there. Jackal fish, but I only put a couple in here just to make our soup. Yeah, I need to. I'm gonna use that spoon from the corn flour. Just move it around. I just bring it into the boil. See the black stuff in there is uh, from now jackals, the lemongrass and stuff. So that's alright. Okay, we got a chicken, jackal chicken, jackal um, fish, and light jackal soup. I've got green bananas going inside with a little bit of coconut cream because I've been told um, I put too much coconut cream in my food but you know the older people they only eat um, smokes in my eyes you've got to watch the older people's diet don't put too much fat oil don't put too much coconut cream or you know I can understand that because I'm getting there <laughs> try to lose some fat Okay guys, um, we let this come to the point and I'll show you later. Now I'm going to go and check into the banana, make sure it's not dying in a, in a pot on the stove. Okay, I'll be back. Hi right, guys, I think I'm done for the day and I'm just going to send off the lunch for the ladies and I'm gonna sit around and yeah chuckle magic okay I've got a 
Our soup is come really nice, it's perfect. Just one of this spoon and uh, one liter of water, put it in there, and then so a um, bit of salt, pepper, and salt. And our fish, grilled fish, is went in there. We got some grilled fish left there. Yeah, and it's beautiful. I just taste the soup, it's just beautiful. Look, it's just running soup, but just beautiful. Perfect. Got all that flavor of the fish, and um, yeah. Okay, guys. Thank you for watching, and I hope you are safe and well. And thank you for subscribe, and thank you for your kindness and comments and like. I hope you are well and keep safe with your family and loved ones. And I'll see you. Be seeing you next video. This is only a quick lunch for um, Thursday afternoon. And who knows maybe what's coming tomorrow. Okay guys, thank you for watching. I'll just show you my food again. What I make today, it's not much, but hey, I'll give you a little bit of idea how to enjoy outdoor. And yeah, okay, I'll show you a little bit of my food before you go. Okay guys, give me the camera. Yeah, guys, there's our, our soup there. It's been boiled, our chicken over there. Yeah, and our soup is done there. We have to turn it off. There's our chicken, charcoal chicken, our charcoal fish down there. Fish is ready, the chicken's ready. The hot coals is nearly all gone out. So, thank you guys for watching, and see you guys next time and much love and god bless <laughs> see you later next time see you later guys